new waterfall visit today here in Mastastau, which is outside of Parita, up towards the mountains, just past San Gerardo, if you know anything about Costa Rica. I am currently sweating because we were gonna walk a few kilometers. The road didn't seem good enough, but thank God I have a 4x4 Suzuki Samurai. So after inspecting it, I realized the car could do it. And my buddy Chenny, tour guide friend, was convinced the car could work because he didn't think his legs would work very well along this long distance. So um, as we're fixing his knees, the Samurai came in handy. So Suzuki, if you hear this, I absolutely love your car. I've driven tons of different cars, spent big money on brand new cars, modified used cars. Your car is the best car I've ever had and ever will have. And if you want to send me any some love, uh, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so more soon guys, just on this beautiful farm, kind of walking down, and as we get closer, I will fill you in more. Cool sign, really quick. Only 2% of the agua in the planet is drinkable. That is not contaminated. Interesting, isn't that? Did you know that fact? Only 2% of the world's water is drinkable. We can do something about that. There are methods, ways, research. It's not my job to teach you, just guide you. The name of this waterfall is El Juco, which is looks like a fruit on a tree. Um, very interesting, but it's super hard. You can't eat it. Uh, but what the ancients used to use it for was for like water bottles. They would treat it, preserve it, do art on it. Um, they found tons of artifacts of these and the Zapatone natives still do this stuff, the indigenous tribe right on this mountain I'm about to show you, which is a both nature reserve and an indigenous reserve. So other than tourism, nobody can ever live there, develop the land. Um, but anyway, El Yuko, if I'm saying it right, is this fruit looking object that nature put here so that people could kind of open it up, cut it in half, or, or drill a little hole in it, and they could store their water in it and carry it around for the day. So we're actually, on our waterfall tours, gonna start using those, Chenny and I, and the other hosts, and we're gonna be retailing them as well. And I'm hopefully gonna have Costa Rican artists come in and do a ton of awesome art, butterflies and hummingbirds and everything that's around here, monkeys, macaws, um, so people can take home a souvenir and have a different type of indigenous style water bottle and that's not appropriation culturally that was Chenny's idea who is Costa Rican and we're going to split the profits and he'll probably get a majority of them like I do with everybody I work with so uh, yeah just an idea but now comes the view so check this out you could start to hear the river and the waterfall in the back and then they have this lookout point so those are what they call the Zapaton region where there's an indigenous tribe the Huaytar tribe is still up there. Oh my God, this viewpoint. So I'm about to show you. So those are the mountains in the back, that's the reserve. And then what we're coming up to now is this viewpoint. Chenny's on it. Seems kind of safe, maybe not so much, but look at that waterfall down there in that valley. So we're gonna be heading down to that waterfall next. Get a full view of it. Again, the mountains. This is an almond tree. A beautiful waterfall. See you soon. I got a fly in my eye, I can't get it out. Just got it out. Culebra, Saki? That means snakes. <laughs> and that means dead snakes if they get in our way. That machete tap. Somewhat carved out steps. Rainy season does some damage. Like that. I don't know if you can tell scale on this video, but that's like, they said it's about an 800 meter drop.
from where we were at the top. So that lookout point was probably 100 meters below where we went. So the rest of this drop is about 700 meters. So almost half a kilometer um, or almost two laps around a track and field track. So this is gonna be quite a walk down, up a little more strenuous, but not as dangerous. So going down is always more dangerous and hiking and life. Because when you fall, you are an accelerated pace falling. <laughs> when you fall going up, just hit your face. <laughs> I will keep the video going when we get to the viewpoints and they have all this beautiful stuff. So I'm not gonna translate everything, but it's all about climate change and, and uh, you know, we're not here alone basically. Um, and saying we only have one planet. I love these signs. Beautiful Costa Rican hearts. Different, amazing, beautiful hearts. I like to run down mountains. And up. Endless jungle. Ooh, I could see the bottom of the waterfall through there. I don't know if you could see it. This is like the best theme park that's ever existed. <laughs> Jurassic Park mixed with the best water park ever invented by the universe. <laughs> so, Jenny just filled me in in Spanish and I will translate it for you where we are now, this river that we're walking down this steep cliff to, that they do thankfully have some set up stairs, improvised kind of wooden stairs now that it's always uh, like a rainforest in here. This never sees the sun, so this is usually always wet outside of um, dry season, like super dry season. Um, so there's beautiful stairs, but what we're walking down to, and it's so steep, this is epic. I can't Put it into words or or express it properly and I don't think the camera is capturing it but it's it's just so steep it's um, and gorgeous and there's so many different greens and things probably hiding in there this is a an indigenous reserve and a nature reserve so there's jaguars in here there's pumas there's jaguarundis there's ocelots there's I mean every animal you could think of um, tapirs, everything, like how many killer snakes are probably in here and spiders and things that can make you hallucinate if you touch them and fucking killer ants and beautiful, beautiful birds and animals we probably haven't ever seen or thought of before. Oh man, look at some type of animal path this way. So we're getting down to this river, and the river itself is the borderline, from what Chenny told me, of the reserve. So where we are now is kind of public land that's not dedicated as the reserve, and then as we get to the river and waterfall, that is where another steep mountain that goes up, very similar to this but much taller, uh, leads to the reserve which is probably thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of acres of just jungle and forest and ancient food forest that's been planted that nobody can ever come mess with and industrialize or modernize in any way. Ooh, little viewpoint. I don't want to fall down this mountain but again we, we've walked down a couple hundred meters already. How much time I've been talking and we've been descending quite consistently that entire time and there's still plenty to go, so this is steep. Um, so yeah, as soon as we get to the waterfall and river, which will be soon, and I will check back in, 
we will be at the border of this indigenous reserve and this nature preserve reserve area that will be, I mean, arguably one of the most biodiverse places on the planet, let alone the most biodiverse place I've ever been in my life. Um, so I'm going to be in an entirely new ecosystem in a few minutes and I'm super excited. If you can't tell from the look on my face, uh, hopefully we don't get eaten by a team of jaguars going down to drink. And if you know anything about jaguars, they are solo and they carry big territory, so that wouldn't happen. And I think two of us can fight off one jaguar, so we'll see what happens. Quick update, can you hear it? How beautiful. And I don't know if that's a pimple or I got bit by something yesterday, but my skin's usually good down here, so I'm gonna take a swim in these magic waters that we can hear and see a little bit in a few minutes and heal myself. So I wanna show the stairs here. Can you see them? They got steep and we've been walking down them a while, but we're getting much closer. We can see the waterfalls and apparently there's three giant waterfalls here. So this is actually, on the tours that we're hosting, gonna be the ultimate uh, waterfall experience. It takes longer to get here. It's way more beautiful. Um, it's way more strenuous than the other ones, El Rey and Las Pilas that we're hosting. Um, but this is already the most beautiful by a thousandfold. Uh, I've never seen anything like this in my life, even from this far, so getting down there I'm a bit awestruck right now. This is really insane. Um, the mountains are so steep right here. Like that's just a giant wall. Literally just a wall straight up vertical. Would probably be, be a climber's dream if it wasn't covered with plants and trees growing straight on a vertical. I don't know how that's even possible, but it's otherworldly. It seems like the wall that you would see if you experienced the real reality of Game of Thrones, that wall up in the north. Um, but this is down in the jungle in the south and like, I don't know, it's extraordinary. It's straight up. I'll try to film it from the bottom, but if I were to guess, it's gotta be a thousand feet straight up, at least. I'm blown away right now, so. I'm gonna keep walking down. Here's the, the rest of the stairs. And I'm getting down there, so I'll film when I'm down there. I don't wanna trip down this thing and roll my rest of the way to the waterfall and really need the healing water, so. But that, I'm just blown away by the, I've never seen anything that tall outside of buildings in New York City. And none of the buildings are this wide and large, so this is, this is the largest structure I've ever been in front of in my life. And it's not man-made, and it's, it trumps anything that men could ever think of making. And Oh my gosh, look at here, okay. I'm going down there. Blue Morpho Butterfly. Hikes back that way and another waterfall that way. And another one down that way. So I'm gonna go in there and swim. Maybe Chenny will get me on video and I can add that. It's a beautiful pool. It's probably so cold. <laughs> That's 
very, very high. <laughs> Walking through the river. To get to a, another waterfall and bathing spot. So I survived. And here we go. Look at that waterfall. I'll let you get the viewpoint. <laughs> How beautiful is this heaven? Is this the best water park ever? Look at it. You can just hang out in the rapids. You can test your luck flowing down the rapids. You got strong bones. <laughs> All right. Finding another waterfall. I'll be back in touch in a minute. Welcome to the waterfall, Uka. Trying not to let the flow take me, but here's the sign up there somewhere, and here's the waterfall. Oh my god, almost more beautiful than the others. So, I'm trying not to get taken out by the flow. Woo! Look at my legs are shaking a little. I'm holding on. What? <laughs> he just disappeared behind that rock. It's about as crazy as it gets. So I just went in the crazy rapids and did what he did and my heart almost stopped because it's so cold and the water's so cold and it was a bit frightening <laughs> and uh, yeah but fun and I did it and I faced my fear and I'll be back to do it again and show other people how to do crazy awesome things in the most beautiful place on earth. Look at that. <laughs> Is this not the most magical place you've ever seen in your life? Look at this. Giant, giant waterfalls right next to me. This is the motherfucking climb. Oh, what a struggle. Oh man. Stairs. Which going down seemed a little slippery going down are way more terrifying going up, but not because they're slippery, but because they are absolutely fucking exhausting. I'm gonna check the altitude when I get to the top, but I've climbed Statue of Liberty stairs <laughs> this is arguably close to that 
if not more. So I'm gonna do that comparison later. Get back to you so I can breathe. Well, I just got one answer. 500 meters. So we're 500 meters up from where we started down at the bottom. I'm guessing that's what that means. So my breath is a 500 meter stair climb so far and counting. Oh, que fuerte. Oh my God. There's the waterfall all the way down there somewhere. We made it. Whew. There's the lookout point. 